Uh, I just love existing. The Immortal Snail Dilemma Many eons ago, a redditor asks, you and a super intelligent snail both get one million dollars, and you both become immortal. However, you die if the snail touches you. It always knows where you are, and it slowly crawls towards you. What's your plan? Now, a lot of people say they would invest a million dollars to study at the most prestigious university, join NASA, build a rocket, and launch the snail into space. Which is stupid, because when the sun explodes and the snail is in another part of the galaxy, then you'll have to forever experience the pain of an empty infinite void surrounded by fire. In this scenario, the snail decides to communicate using pen and paper to hire a mafia group to capture me. So what I would do is invest that money to become as famous as possible. Donate some of that money to charity, invest in studio production, stuff like that. And then, I would leak my address online. As a result, several fans, stalkers and paparazzi surround my house, preventing anyone from breaking in and taking me to the snail. Moving wouldn't be necessary, so I would just sit at home, unpack my groceries, and oh my god, it's in my house. In this scenario, scientists step on the snail and realize it's immortal. They then keep it in a lab. I invest my million dollars in owning a plot of land. Oh yeah, since I'm immortal as well, people begin noticing, which is very good. I'll become a powerful religious figure and tell the story of the snail. I would then get that cult to bring me the snail in a metal padlock box with a snail inside, and then have a hierarchy of people who look after the box in rotating shifts. In this scenario, the government finds out I'm immortal. So according to your tax documentation, you're 478 years old. Yes. Now, it will be a bit of a problem if I'm in a government facility because then I don't know where the snail is. But on the plus side, nothing gets in the facility, so I just have to wait in endless boredom until the world ends or someone breaks me out. What if I just trap the snail? Like, what if I hire someone to help me out and build like a tank of some sort? Now, I wouldn't want to torture the snail or put it in cement, because if it's super intelligent, that means it can feel pain. I guess if I put it in a nice decorative cage with some books, it will probably be happy. Alright snail, you win. I'll donate all my money to charity. I'll go on the run and be free to live in the wilderness and engage in a hunting game between you and I. I will learn to embrace and utilize nature on such a pro level that nothing can stop me. Since the snail and I are immortal, we will probably witness humans going extinct at some point. If this is the case, it would be kind of awesome to see a bunch of hyper-intelligent animals. But on the flip side, what if the snails become super intelligent? What if the snails can communicate with each other? What if, after all these years, the immortal snail rises into power planning how to take me down? Well snail, I have an army of monkeys at my disposal, so hit me with your best shot. I remember a friend told me that death is what makes us human, and I guess death is what also makes us snails. At the end of the day, I probably don't want to live the rest of my life knowing that the end of the world will come someday, and that the snail and I will have to experience it in all its glory. I guess in the end, I would probably just embrace the snail. <laughs>